Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to force any um, beta flight board to update um, to newer firmware. This sometimes happens when you get like a brand new board, especially from like China or whatever. You may have like beta flight like 3.1, for example, and we're as of the recording of this video, 3.5.1 is out. So right here, let me show you what I'm talking about. So when you connect your board straight to the beta flight configurator, and you connect, you want to go to CLI version. And you see, in my case, I have an Omnibus F4 SD, and it currently has beta flight 3.2.0. So if I want to update this, you basically go disconnect, reconnect, go down to firmware flasher, and right here, as you see, I have 3.2.0, and the newest version that's currently of the making of this video is 3.5.1. But when I click on this, and you, look, and you say flash firmware, it basically, the port failed. Now this basically also will happen in case you may accidentally have broken your bind button. You could do this one of two ways. First, so basically you reconnect your board, push connect, scroll down to CLI, and if you do DFU, now this only works if you have 3.3 .3 or newer, it should go into DFU mode. But you see this one is so old, again, I have 3.2, we're going to first disconnect reconnect and then you're going to download this program called Zadig. So basically you're going to open this known program right here. If you do not have this program installed, I have a link that it should be the first link down in the description on where you can download this exact file or, or, or this program or a newer version. In my case I have 2.4 so we want to run it as administrator. Next you want to click over to options and view list all devices and then you go that over to this window and you basically you're basically going to find right here the omnibus f4 so before we do this we want to force your board to go into dfu mode or at least attempt to go into DFU mode. So I'm going to select the newest firmware. So now we refresh this. That omnibus one should have gone away, but it's actually right here. Because this is actually this board's DFU mode. It's the bootloader. So you want to click on that. And then you want to change this to Win USB. And then click Replace Driver. driver successfully complete. So now if we just disconnect the board reconnect the board force it into DFU mode see now it'll update Now, if we reconnect, go down to CLI, hit version, I now currently have 3.5.1. And that's it. 